Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing like a cooking video. I know you guys hate these, but I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry for the noise in the background. I'm sorry for my face. I was chopping up onions and I cried off like most of my eye makeup, like my mascara and stuff. I cried it off. So uh, today's video, I'm going to be making a squash and sausage stew. Now, this is supposed to be a summer squash and sausage stew, but it's here, so like whatever. Plus, it's been cold, so I want stew, and it's really delicious. I've made it several times. I know this recipe by heart. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump into the ingredients that I have prepared. Okay, so these are my ingredients. I believe I have everything except for the olive oil, which I do have actually, right there. Okay, so I'm starting off with some sausage. This is actually beef sausage, but it, it's best if you use andouille. There's a whole white onion. Here's some minced garlic. Uh, I probably won't use all of it, probably a little more than half. There's one bell pepper. You can use a jalapeno or serrano pepper, but you know that's not me. Uh, here's a little bit of tomato paste, and then a can of tomato sauce. Here is some chicken stock. These are like the little baby potatoes. They're yellow potatoes, they're like the small ones. I just cut them in half so that they can cook more evenly with these guys. I have about five of these Mexican squashes or calaza, and then I have these yellow, I guess they're called summer squash. I have three of these because they're bigger and five of these. And so let's go ahead and start um, making this stew. My double or my Dutch oven, whatever sort of thing, it's all thick, it's like cast iron coated. It's on about medium heat and I'm gonna go ahead and put some olive oil. How much, who the hell knows? That looks good, right? Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and let this get hot. Boom. All right. So I'm gonna put in this whole freaking sausage. It's a lot of sausage, but we like a lot of meat. So that's why it's like a lot of sausage. I'm gonna let this go and let it brown. Like, I know it's kind of full. I know if I wanted it more crispy, I should have used less, but it is what it is. So I'm going to try to brown that. pretty toasty as you can see it's, it's starting to caramelize on the bottom of the pan and that's kind of what you want because then that means that part of the sausage is getting kind of toasty it just it just you can not toast it but to me it's better with it so once that's toasty you will add your onion and you'll let that go for about five minutes so it can start to begin to get soft. So, about five minutes, and then we'll continue on with the next step. Okay, it's not been five minutes yet. It's been about three. Mm. It's not quite soft, so I'm gonna let it go still. The onions are really soft now. We're going to add some garlic. About that much is good. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, once you add the garlic, it gives it like, you know, like a way better flavor. Okay. And we let that go for about a minute. Okay, the garlic's been there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my green bell pepper.
Alright, after that, that's been in there for a little bit, um, <clears throat> I'm going to add any kind of tomato product. This could be crushed tomatoes, tomato sauce, tomato paste, uh, whatever, like those stew, like, the, like whatever tomato in a can. Um, so I always normally put in tomato sauce, a whole can of that. And for extra oomph, I'm going to put in just a little, like a small, or a dollop of tomato paste for that extra. Okay. Stir that in. Next is the chicken stock, broth, whatever. And I don't measure, honestly, you guys. I don't measure. It might be the whole damn thing. I don't know. I still have to add the tomato. I mean, yeah, the potatoes and the... Um, and the... Fuck. And the... The potatoes and the squash. I just turned up the heat to high because I do want to get this to a simmer for 15 minutes. Or no, like a boil for 15 minutes before I put a lid on it and let it stew. This is stew. I'm probably going to add some more. But for flavor, I'm going to add some chicken bouillon. Again, I never measure. That looks good for right now to begin with. And then I know, contrary to popular belief, just so we can have, I know it's not going to be enough. I know you guys, but just, just for like a little extra. <laughs> I know, I know it's not enough. So I went ahead and added some cayenne pepper. Now I'm going to taste it. Um, I think it needs some salt, some salt and pepper. So I'm going to add some salt. And pepper. I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes. That actually may be enough potatoes. I'll just leave these little bit in here. I don't know. Is it enough potatoes? I think it'll be fine. I think that'll be... No, fuck it. There we go. All of it. <laughs> And then next, I'm going to add my squash stuff. So I do want to make sure that all of this gets covered in liquid, but also to be mindful that these vegetables, once they start to cook, will release their own fluid as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more chicken, whatever. Um, but like that much. I don't know. That's good. And then I know that once it starts to cook, it'll be fine. Let me add some more salt. That's good. And um, I'm going to let this start boiling and then I'll put a lid on it and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, guys. So you see, I didn't add any more liquid from the last time and slowly but surely it's going to start to release its own liquid. It's not quite to a boil yet, but it is starting to bubble. Um, you can see it right here, right there, over here, around the rim. So I did taste it already, the soup, the stew, whatever. <sniffs> Motherfuck! Ah. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> you see, for me, it's enough spice. It tastes really good. This is exactly how my husband likes it. 
because you know <laughs> um so not i mean I, i'm i'm spooning it a lot because i don't know what to do but uh you know with my hands over here but in general you don't want to spoon it you don't want to move it around too much because you kind of want to let this um vegetables kind of stay and maintain their shape as much as possible again i did put the potatoes in first at the bottom so that those could be the ones that had more time in the uh you know in the hot in the heat also too at currently because once it starts to boil i'm gonna cover it with the lid and put it um and, and let it simmer for about 45 minutes um i'm currently letting this stuff thaw out it's heb bread I keep it frozen in the freezer. It's thawing out. It takes about eight minutes to bake. And uh, we just kind of like to use it to soup up some of the some of the stew. And we also really like it with some good Parmesan cheese. So I just opened the package right now. I have a little piece right here just kind of tasting it. it. Tastes delicious. So we have some of this that we're going to shred or grate on top of our spoon so it shouldn't be too much longer before I have to put the lid on there but I just wanted to show you um I don't know if I'm going to show you guys next like another clip because this is pretty much it you know it's a really simple simple delicious meal um so yeah let me know if you like these videos or leave me a thumbs up or whatever um I'm not a cook or like a chef I'm a cook not a chef and I do take inspiration from my friends here on YouTube such as Natalie from Simply Natalie uh, Josie from the road to good cooking of course my boys my home dogs or <laughs> I don't know <laughs> my dudes my guy friends uh, James from Amum and Claimum out of Texas what what and Lyle, of course, from No Hippie Barbecue. So, you know, those are the channels if you want to cook. Those are the channels to go to. But this is just something that um, I was preparing for life group tonight. We were going to have a potluck for my life group. And so my potluck was this. And so I was like, well, since I'm going to be doing it anyway, let's do it. So you might get a... A clip of my plate but after that that's it that's what I gotta show you I hope I didn't miss a step I hope it's pretty easy to follow I'm sorry I don't use any um, measuring measures measurements I just do it so thank you so much and you see I'm about to start boiling I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down put a lid on it and then it should be good you guys 45 minutes to 30 minutes be checking on it make sure the potatoes are done these will be done uh, by happenstance or whatever like it's gonna happen if the potatoes are done these are gonna be done because they're more you know thinner but yeah you want them to kind of still maintain their their shape all right Thank you. 